heading one of the Vedi Shaiva Mantras. Uh, you have already introduced about our educational activities by the researcher Dr. Aya Um I'm going to just say a few words before I respond to uh, the researcher Dr. Aya's uh, research paper. It was a pleasant surprise for me when I received the email invitation for this seminar from Dr. Madhu Purdimakeshwar, who came to know about me from Professor Maya Ram, uh, whom I had met at an internet interfaith dialogue at Shantivanam of Swami Adishtananda in Tamil Nadu recently. I am thankful to Dr. Madhu Kishwarji for her kind invitation. You know her better than myself. As a moderator, she is not a strict disciplinarian and seems to be the firm believer on the eternity of time seeking knowledge. She is also a good host, taking care of the needs of all the participants. Let me, uh, I have no hesitation to call myself a Hindu, but I do not wish to identify myself with the champions of Hindutva, a recent political phenomenon developed in the post-independent days of India. Instead of debating and searching for a new world on which people may never come to an agreement. It would be better to use the word in, already in vogue, worldwide. It would be a futile attempt to find a new word since you will be labeled as a new faction with that very new word as has been in the past. The word Hindu, as you all know, is not used in any of our ancient religious texts. It is used by the people of other religions referring to our common religious and spiritual heritage in India. We should be thankful to them for unifying us in spite of our divergent philosophical standpoints. When all the divergent religious faiths that have sprung from on the Indian soil have an ultimate goal of losing their Nama Rupa and merge in that eternal boundless ocean of bliss, why to bother about a new world? In spite of differences, we are so adaptable that we considered Buddha the eleventh avatara. Had Jesus Christ born in India, I, I believe we would have made him the twelfth avatar of God. Even if you successfully coined a new word, people have their own way to meddle with it. We have a center called Taralbal Kendra in the Rabindranath Tagore Nagar of Bangalore. If you, if you ever come to Bangalore, and ask for Rabindranath Tagore Nagar, you'll be going round and round and will never reach it. People would raise their eyebrows. I cautioned the participants when I organized the 10th World Sanskrit Conference at our center in Bangalore in the year 1997. I asked them not to ask for Rabindranath Tagore Nagar. But if you ask for Aati Nagar, Anybody will certainly guide you, even a rickshawala, where to go. Same is the case with another famous road in Bangalore, namely MG Road, which stands for Mahatma Gandhi Road, which nobody would know. If you ask for Mahatma Gandhi Road in Bangalore, nobody would know. If you say MG Road, then they will certainly take you to that road. The organizers of this seminar uh, no, wait a minute. 
why to waste our time and energy arguing on the street? What is, the utmost what is of utmost importance is to reach our destination. The organizers of this seminar have already made it very clear that the word Hindu is used here in its broader sense and we have come here accepting it in good faith. Let's march forward and not hang on the signboard. I am a Virshaiva by faith. Yesterday we heard of Janmand, heard of Janmand Karma. I understood, if I understood Hindi properly, His Holiness Shankaracharya Ji, who had a broad vision of Hinduism, stressed the importance of both Janma and Karma. But I do not subscribe to it. As a Vira Shaiva, we believe Janmana Jayate Shudraha 